Good morning, gentlemen. I'd like to start by thanking you all for being here today. All right. Well, you guys ready? Or are you just going to stare at me and just be antagonistic again? Please, just begin. Oh, God, why couldn't I have hired younger people? What makes a fighter next gen? We have already been developing fifth gen fighters since we found the plans for the F-35. We expanded on the concept with the 45s and then the 52s. However, all of these jets have a single flaw between them. Human error. Among other things. Think about all of our failures. The Dalek War. We lost the battle for New Earth because of greed and personal glory. If we remove that, then we can make the first 6th gen fighter. A fighter that doesn't need living pilots. How exactly do you plan on removing a human from a fighter? What you're describing is a drone. That's where the new development comes from. Project Corn, standing for Computer Objective Retargeting Network. We completely remove the human aspect from it. We make the jets flown by an AI as smart as a human pilot, or even smarter. Okay, okay, I, I see what this is about here. You're trying to make up for your past mistakes, aren't you? Listen, Project Resurgence has nothing to do with this. Look, I think I speak on behalf of the whole board here when I say that we are absolutely tired of funding your project. They constantly go over budget, and they never produce any results. If you would just let me finish, I think this could be really beneficial to our work. After your failure with Project Resurgence, I don't think it's wise to produce another one of these monstrosities of a project, all right? Not to mention the fact that AB1 is still out there. Do you think I don't know all of this? Quite simply, I'm sick of you all constantly questioning me. Do you forget who built this whole place? And is the reason why you guys even have jobs? Frankly, Brayden, we as a board have debated replacing you for a while. So, as right now would be a perfect time to put it to a vote. I vote we replace Braden Williams as lead scientist with Pedro Prime! How fucking dare you? You should have known this was coming. Look, it's nothing personal, Williams. It's just what's best for the lab, especially with Dr. Peters and the rest of Saturn Lab still scrambling to clean up the messes that you and your friends made. I say that Bejo Prime should be here to see this. No, we can summon him when needed. He will always be a slave. No wonder you failed your military and left your friends to die. You know what? If you dumbasses think I'm done, or I'm going to give my job away? Well, let me do one last damn thing as an executive here, and I'm going to cut this meeting short. Good day, gentlemen. I'll see to it that you pay for this. Where do you think you're going, Williams? I don't know, okay? I know this, though. With or without me, this project will get done. All right, Williams. How about this? If you're back here in 72 hours with the funding, you can keep your job and we'll certainly give you the green light for this project corn of yours as stupidly named as it is and if not it's over you're done and scarlet labs will be out of your hands permanently in 72 hours i'll be accepting your apology i take it that didn't go so well no no it didn't they want to give you my job. Oh shit. Does that mean you'll be getting my coffee now? Uh, no, no. Um, get your things together. We're leaving. Damn. Alright. Uh, what ship should I prepare? Where are we going? Prepare a condor. We're gonna go secure funding.
Do you, uh, you want to talk about it? No. Come on, bro. I'm legally your therapist. That is not even remotely true. I thought I thought it was one of my my duties as your assistant. Look, I don't even know if you're my assistant when we get back. I might be fired, or killed, or hell, just shot in the face with an emergency kit. Or whatever shit I can salvage of my good name. See, you're talking about it. Bejo, I swear to God, I will hit you. Fine. I'll tell you one thing, Bejo. What would that be? We're going into uncharted waters here. And whatever happens, I'm thankful for all your help over the years. <sighs> you know, Brain, that might just be the single kindest thing you've ever said to me. Well, I thought I'd lighten the mood, considering we're heading into the depths of the underworld. Wait, 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 wait. what?